Hey guys, I'm Kyle McCoy and welcome to my studio, also known as the Pixel Art Shop, where I make all kinds of artwork using the medium of perler beads. Today you're going to learn everything you need to know to get started in this colorful and creative craft, but first, what do you need? Well, the beads. Perler offers a huge variety of colors, and if you look very closely behind me, you might notice that I'm a fan of individual bags. But if you're just starting out, you might want to try some of the big mixed buckets and activity kits that come with a lot of colors. The choice is yours. Special shout out to my two personal favorite colors, toothpaste and cheddar. Love those guys. Next up, the boards. These pegboards are what keep your beads in place as you design your piece. You can get them in lots of fun shapes or the standard grid. That's mostly what I use. They've got these nifty connectors on the side so they can interlock for large projects. For now, we'll be good with the basic two pack, an iron. An iron is what you'll be using to melt your beads together so they fuse into a solid piece. You can find many affordable ones at any major retailer, or there's probably one around your house somewhere. But don't melt down your beads yet, because you need your... Ironing paper. You lie this down on top of your beadwork, so when you fuse the design, the beads don't get stuck to your iron. The good news is, Perler has that covered too. You get six sheets in a pack, and they can be used tons of times. Let's quickly tally it up. You can pick up this great homemade starter kit for less than $40. And that's assuming you don't have an iron. If you do, take off another 20. So this is a very affordable hobby, which is good because it's also very addictive. There's also a bunch of handy accessories you can get, like the bead sweeper, bead pen, tweezers, and more, but for the moment, let's just cover the basics. Now that we've got everything we need, it's time to get the beads on the boards. You can use your pure imagination or follow a pattern. Today, I'm going to make a space shuttle. Did you know that NASA recently retired the space shuttle series? It's time to pay tribute, and you can find the pattern right on Perler's website. We'll be using orange, white, black, gray, cream, pastel yellow, and cheddar. Three, two, one, blast off. Very nice. I'm giving you guys a thumbs up here because the last bead I had to put down was the last bead in my hand. I just happened to grab the perfect amount. I love it when that happens. Once you've got your beadwork done, carefully lie down your paper and grab your iron. Make sure there's no water in the iron. You do not need it. Start slowly on one side, working your way over in a circular motion. You'll be able to see the beads melting through the paper, so keep an eye on them to make sure they melt evenly. Then flip them over and do the other side. I also recommend putting some big heavy books on top of your work to help keep it flat while it cools. Now you can turn your perler pieces into coasters, jewelry, magnets, or just about anything else you can think of. I'm going to use my hot glue gun to mount this onto a canvas that I painted earlier. I've cut a piece of black foam core that I'll attach to the back in order to raise it a layer. It gives it kind of a 3D effect. Done. This would look great in any child's room, maybe with a personalized message on it. Congratulations! We just made our first piece of perler art. But this was only our first step into that great pixel ocean. We've waded out maybe ankle deep, and the water seems inviting. Plus, now that we have all our supplies, we can dive right into the project next time. Until then, I'm Kyle McCoy. Happy purling.